The Small Town Story. It's long been a favorite subject for the stage and screen. It evokes a time when life seemed more easygoing, where problems were predictable, when the only drama in town was found at everybody's favorite movie house. Well, I tell you, it was a gathering place for the community, and many of us carried our first dates to Sunset Theater. Sunset Theater, when I think of that, I think of James Bond movies, Elvis Presley movies, the old-time horror movies growing up. It was Saturday afternoons, getting in for a quarter, but it played a big part for anyone that grew up in this community. Of course, the real story of downtown Asheboro is more than a Saturday matinee at the old Sunset. It spans decades. It's a story of courage, vision, and a kind of beat-the-odds grit that'll make any Hollywood screenwriter proud. And at the heart of it all is the Sunset Theater, what she was and what she can become again. It is the next best idea for renovating our downtown. This started several years ago and businesses have come here. Life has been infused into our downtown. It is a part of making Asheboro an excellent place to live. It's an exciting place to go. It's fun to be down there, and the theater is the central part of all this happening. For 80 years, the Sunset Theater has been the gathering place of the city. And today, this grand lady of Asheboro's downtown is poised to bring up the curtain on a new chapter in our history, Asheboro's next act. The first act for the Sunset Theater opened on March 6, 1930 on historic Sunset Avenue. The Spanish-style architecture of Ashborough's first real movie house reflected the glamour of Hollywood, with stucco walls, beamed ceilings, and an ornate facade crowned by a tiled cornice. For generations, the Sunset was the center of entertainment and community life, bringing the world to Ashborough. There were big-name stars and blockbuster films, alongside cowboy double features and Buck Rogers serials. Throughout the Depression, the Second World War, and the boom years that followed, the sunset drew audiences from all Randolph County and beyond. For 50 cents or less, you could see a movie, you could buy a bag of popcorn and a drink, and get a little change back. It was a wonderful life. Ashboro was bustling, the sunset was thriving, and it just seemed like that's the way it would always be. But as with all things, time brings changes. For downtown Ashboro, the second act came gradually. Companies downsized, businesses moved out, the multiplex came. The crowds at the sunset began to dwindle, and downtown wasn't the place to be anymore. Our community has been hit hard with job losses in the past several years. And if you go back 15, 20 years ago, the downtown area was empty storefronts and it was very depressing looking. When we first came to Asheboro, there wasn't anything happening downtown. There were a lot of vacant buildings and there was little reason to go downtown. After nearly 40 years as downtown Ashboro's gathering place, the sunset ended its reign as a premier movie house. In the intervening years, the old theater, along with the business district that surrounds it, fell on hard times. For a while, the sunset changed its name and survived showing second-run flicks. But the glory days were gone, it seemed, forever. A reflection of the story told in many small towns like Ashboro. But though the sunset faded, it never lost its place in the life of the city. The building has been in constant use throughout the years, never abandoned, never allowed to fall into neglect. In the meanwhile, the rest of downtown has undergone a renaissance. 
what had once seemed destined to fade, has found an exciting new life as the center of a vibrant and growing Asheboro. In 2001, we started a real Bible program to improve the downtown. And I think the best days for our city are still ahead. Fast forward to today, uh, you see what's been done. There are restaurants downtown. A number of shops have opened up the antique mall, but the downtown area itself uh, is very important in helping bring back our community. And the Sunset Theater has been there and seems to me it's just waiting to be restored and become the crown jewel of downtown. And so it is today. The Sunset Theater is once again ready to take her place center stage as the star of Ashboro's next act. The vision is to transform the Sunset Theater into a regional performing arts center, complete with state-of-the-art lighting and sound, as well as enlarged backstage areas, dressing rooms, and rehearsal spaces for performers. Plans call for expanding into adjacent space to provide a welcoming new entrance and lobby area, as well as new restroom facilities, all completely handicap accessible. In addition to providing a home to Ashboro's thriving performing arts community, the facility will host films, concerts, and other community events, as well as attracting productions from throughout the region. We think that as the theater is renovated and can accommodate more people, that this will be a regional theater, and we can attract people from around the area to come to Ashboro and share in our excitement what's happening. However, Realizing the vision won't be easy. After all, the Sunset was built 80 years ago just to be a movie house. This is a, a beautiful place, a beautiful space, but it was designed to show movies. It was not designed for live theater, and there are certain requirements to do a live performance. With the vision in mind, the city of Ashboro began in 2005 developing a strategic plan and acquiring the property to provide additional space for the Performing Arts Center. The City Council realized the possibility of what the theater could become, which was a Performing Arts Center. So we purchased it in, in 2005. We purchased the two adjacent buildings when they came on the market, and uh, it, that's going to be a real plus for us because we need that additional space as we move forward. I am very appreciative that the uh, city stepped up and, and purchased the space and now I think that we have a very practical, very viable uh, vision for this space and I think that, that we are ready. The Sunset Theater, Ashboro's next act is a $1.2 million capital campaign to complete the restoration, renovation, and expansion of the theater. The city of Ashboro has already made a substantial commitment to the project, and to ensure the Sunset's future, the costs of operating and maintaining the expanded and revitalized theater will continue to be covered by the city. All that's needed now is your support to make the new Sunset Theater Performing Arts Center an investment that'll pay dividends far into Ashboro's future. In the purchase of the theater and the two adjoining buildings, the city has already invested about a million dollars. And so we need another $1.2 million to really complete what we think will bring the theater up into a first-class performing arts center. Bringing back the Sunset Theater Transforming her into the Performing Arts Center for the 21st century is the next logical step in the resurgence of downtown Ashboro. Your support of Ashboro's next act is critical. Join us and help ensure that once again, the Grand Lady of Sunset Avenue will be the center of a dynamic and exciting future for downtown Ashboro. Almost everyone I've talked to is very excited about it because like me, anybody that grew up here, it was a big part of their childhood. And, uh, you know, if you build it, they will come. And I think it is a key part to the success in the downtown revitalization. I think that uh, anyone who is interested in historical preservation of the arts or the future of Ashboro will 
partner with us to make it happen. The people that we'd be talking to, they're all proud of Asheboro. And they know that the theater is going to be a big part of making Asheboro more vital, more exciting, uh, accessible to more people. And so I think that um, the big majority is going to say, hey, this is a good cause, and we're going to step up and support it. So we're going to have this wonderful marriage between the old and the new and to create something that is available for our community and for the benefit of all of its citizens. It'll make a difference in Asheboro and downtown.